Uh, I want to end the show with something kind of foolish that a listener sent in. But before we move on, I just want to go, go back to you, Todd, and see, do you have any final thoughts for our listeners as they're looking through and trying to craft a dividend portfolio? Quality, quality, quality. Don't reach for yield. I mean, you know, historically over time, uh, when interest rates have started to rise, uh, dividend paying stocks have um, not performed quite as good as they do when, div- when, when interest rates are falling. So make sure that as you're planning your portfolio, that you're focusing on the highest quality companies and you're not chasing yield. That's great advice. So uh, moving on to a listener, uh, I, it's a comment, I guess it's not quite a question, but a listener sent in an email to industryfocus at full.com where you can always contact us. And I thought it was absolutely worth sharing. So thank you to Fred Gattis of St. Louis, Missouri, who saw this and thought, what a foolish CEO. So yesterday, um, Radius Health announced a delay in the submission of a new drug application to the FDA for an osteoporosis drug. The target for this NDA had been the end of 2015, and they announced that they're going to delay it to the first three months of 2016, which investors did not react well to this news. But if you actually dig in and you listen to what he has to say, uh, CEO Robert Ward, who actually came from AstraZeneca, uh, he says, Part of our assessment was, is this the time to ask everyone in our supply chain to work on an accelerated basis over a period of time when they all had personal plans? Or was it better for us to pick a timeline that was more respectful for what the overall work-life balance might be across our whole supply chain? He goes on to say, when we think about the agency today, we want a chance to dot every I and cross every T and take our time. It's the holistic element, right? So it's individuals in the company who just completed a huge milestone of submitting our MAA. Did we really want to ask them to skip Thanksgiving and Christmas this year? How cool is that? Very cool. Very cool. You know, this is an interesting company because they're they're doing some fantastic things and developing new therapies for osteoporosis, a very important uh, condition. They've already filed. They've raced to file uh, in Europe, and that's now done with. And you're still going to see this filing occur early next year. So it's not like this is going to um, radically change their business plans. And I think that this just shows you that there's a human element uh, that's involved in all businesses that shouldn't be ignored. Absolutely. And especially when you're in the business of healthcare, there's the human element of you being the, the worker who's developing these drugs. And then there's the human human element of the product, you know, being able to change lives with your work and have that fulfillment. 